Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and it is time for me to present you uh, yet with another trading plan. Uh, last week on June 12th I shared with you uh, my short-term trading plan on the Euro Japanese Yen uh, which fulfilled perfectly. Uh, we are gonna check it out uh, in just a sec but first I want to say that all those plans are posted on YouTube and uh, we post live signals based on them in our Telegram, free Telegram channel. So uh, if you want to join there, you can do it throughout the link below this video. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing, as I promised, this is the Euro Japanese Yen trading plan from June 12th, you can see. And it is a short term trading plan. Uh, let's see what happened. You can see the price was here. I was expecting uh, two possible scenarios. Uh, this is also uh, this is the H4 time frame. So let's see what happened. You can see that our first scenario actually fulfilled perfectly. Uh, after the break of this uh, small support level, the price just headed down, reaching our target zone down here. Now this week we are going to. Uh, switch things a bit and we are going to look at an exotic pair so this is now you're seeing the uh, USD Russian rubble graph uh, this is the H4 time frame and I've already as you can see drew some things uh, and I'm just going to go over them real quick now so uh, the first thing is that we can see that the price has been the pair has been in a downtrend from over here uh, we can see this first wave stopping here where we previously had a bounce so this was a support area quite good support area actually we had a small correction a new wave down again you can see that the price stopped for a while here in this support area and after that it broke it and went further down with the wave here we had a small uh, correction up another wave down and uh, now the price broke above this uh, last bottom over here uh, so my expectations are that this downtrend has ended and we'll see the formation of an uptrend uh, so my initial and uh, main target would be for the price to reach back to that uh, previous support area now turned into a resistance area uh, another level i will be uh, looking closely is that this uh, previous end of this correction level so somewhere here I assume that if we see a break here we might have a, a short correction back to that level and then a new wave up to that resistance zone over here so uh, I would um, so how to say it I would advise you to uh, wait for a break of this level in order to start buying the pair so uh, if we define our zone this here will be our buy zone and on the lower time frames you can look for possible entries here of course you can uh, start looking for entries over here but you should be cautious uh, about that level at around 63.3 uh, so going down to the M30, let's see what we have there. Okay, so I'll just real quick delete uh, those kind of messy arrows I drew. <laughs> uh, and just define what we are seeing on the M30. So uh, you can see that here, uh, down, down here we had a sort of a consolidation and the current uptrend on M30 started uh, we had this wave up a correction wave up so far a correction you can see that the price actually didn't break the um, last high on the M30 time frame so uh, I assume that from here uh, we will either see a continuation of this uptrend or Another possibility is that we'll see a small uh, range forming here between this previous high and this H4 um, support uh, resistance area, small resistance area. So uh, you can look for 
uh, buy entries if, as I said, the best uh, way is to wait for the H4 resistance to be broken for a price to enter into our, our buy zone and then look for uh, entries, <coughs> entry possibilities on M30, sorry. Or if you want to start now, you can either try to buy a pair down here, which would be uh, the perfect uh, entry on M30, or you can wait for a break on M30 of this H4 uh, small resistance level here, uh, which we talked about. This is it regarding this plan. Uh, I expect uh, this sort of a short term swing plan to fulfill itself in the next couple of days, maybe by the end of next week. Of course, if the price reverses the movement from here and starts going down, I won't take um, any, uh, any trades on this plan and I will most likely update it and continue following it, looking for a good uh, development of it. Uh, thank you very much. I hope this plan was interesting for, for you. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and click the little bell button so you get notified when we post uh, new content and also don't forget to hit the like button because that really helps us. Thank you very much and I, I'll see you out there in the sea of markets. Bye bye.